Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we'll be doing a quick speed test comparison of two iPhones. We have the newly launched Apple. Uh, iPhone 14 Pro with us and uh, this has the Apple's A16 Bionic chip and uh, we get a slight upgrade in the camera but we are not going to talk about the camera here we will be doing XP test with the iPhone 13 Pro now iPhone 13 Pro uh, was launched last year with the Apple's A15 Bionic chip now both of these devices are exactly the same with iOS 16 update and both have same set of apps installed so they are exactly in the same conditions now we will be doing a quick speed as a comparison of uh, these two devices to see how far uh, is the improvements in terms of speed and performance when it comes to Apple's A16 and comparing to the Apple's A15 on the iPhone 13 Pro. In fact, the iPhone uh, 14 and the 14 Plus have the A15 Bionic, only the Pro versions have the Apple's A16 Bionic chip. So let's get started with uh, the speed test comparison. So before that, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So we have the two devices with us. Uh, here we have the iPhone 14 Pro. You can see uh, the notch and here we have the iPhone 13 Pro. So let's just take uh, the uh, about phone here. So general settings. Here also general settings uh, about phone you can see here ios uh, 16 on both the devices the same version and so we have the ios 16 on both the devices uh, you can see the name mentioned here so that's uh, the devices so let's just clear off all the background apps on both the devices and let's also check the network connections so you can see here both are in airplane mode uh, connected to the same wi-fi network so again uh, similar uh, condition so uh, the differentiating aspect uh, is uh, uh, the uh, the processor uh, we have the apple's a16 bionic on the iphone 14 pro while we have the apple's a15 bionic on the iphone 13 pro so a16 uh, bionic definitely has uh, advancements uh, uh, on top of the a15 also the gpu performance is better so let's see how uh, different it is in terms of real world usage so let's just clear off all the background apps so let's start with asphalt 9 so let's see uh, which of these opens asphalt 9 faster so let's uh, wait for this to open So you can see here uh, this opened faster actually uh, uh, there is concurrent login that's why it uh, went up again but iphone 14 pro was slightly faster here uh, in terms of opening uh, uh, asphalt 9. next let's go to uh, call of duty mobile so let's see which opens this faster So exact same time, so no major difference here. Uh, next uh, App Store, here you can see here it was faster on the 14 Pro. Chrome browser, again 14 Pro was faster. Facebook, uh, probably this was slightly faster, again not much difference. Here you can see that 14 Pro is faster. Instagram, again 14 Pro is faster. Spotify again 14 Pro is faster Amazon here you can see that uh, that um, uh, app had a, a splat screen so uh, we'll uh, leave this uh, app then uh, Flipkart again uh, 14 Pro was slightly faster here also 14 Pro was faster settings almost same time YouTube uh, probably 13 Pro was slightly faster Gmail 14 Pro is faster camera exact same time and finally maps so here again 14 pro was uh, faster so you can see that uh, 14 pro does have a slight advantage over the 13 pro not a significant different but uh, you can see here uh, the apps are slightly faster in loading a couple of seconds faster that's uh, that's the only thing otherwise it's more or less uh, similar in terms of performance you wouldn't actually notice these uh, differences because they are very minor differences now next let's see the memory management so let's see which all apps are retained and which all apps are reloaded. So you can see here as of now all the apps are available in the memory. So Spotify, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, App Store, 
COD, Call of Duty Mobile and finally as for LAN. So all the apps are available in the memory and all of them are retained in the memory as well. So you can see that uh, uh, the memory management looks uh, very similar. Uh, in fact, exactly the same on both the devices uh, since both of these are iOS 16. Uh, the only differentiating aspect is probably the processor. So that was uh, the speed test. Now let's uh, just uh, see the network speed as well. So we are connected uh, both the devices to the same uh, uh, network as you can see here uh, both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So let's start with iPhone 14 Pro first. So exact same uh, speed in fact. Let's start with uh, this uh, iPhone 13 Pro. So again you can see that uh, uh, both are having uh, the same speed almost so there you go so that's the speed so both the devices have the same uh, speed network speed here you can see here both are exactly the same so no difference here so that is the speed of comparison of these two devices you can see here there is minor difference in terms of speed on iphone 14 pro but otherwise more or less similar uh, again uh, network speed and memory management was exactly the same so that was the speed test hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day